Thank you for tuning in to Faith in Jesus Ministry. My name is Mike Barclay, the Preacher Man. I believe Kenneth and Gloria Copeland are Christians. I believe they practice what they preach. They need a jet to get around to preach. I mean, come on. Well, they call them preachers, liars, thieves, and they got more bling bling than the rappers do. I mean, come on. In the name of Jesus, Jesus blessed us first. And then we went and spread the gospel. So we got blessed first. We were rich first. Yes, this is a prosperity gospel. And it ain't black and it ain't white. And we're proud of that. And Creflo Dollar, yes, he does have a Rolls Royce. And yes, he does have a Learjet. Yes, he does have a million dollar apartment in New York. And he needs that. Because he preaches both places. So the man needs to be comfortable. Come on. He needs that. And he's blessed. He was blessed and was rich before he ever started preaching. All he does is simply share God's principles of living a good life to help people better their lives. I can't take no credit for what you see. This is God's plan. This is God's plan for me to have that Lamborghini. This is God's plan for me to live by the mall. This is God's plan for me to be blessed with a ministry that produces $5,000 a day in income. So you know what? I bless other people. I bless people that I don't even know. 1,500 people a day in Africa eat because of me, because of my mouth, because of my preaching, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Me sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ gives me the income that I can help others. And God bless me. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me. God had the plan for my life, the life of a millionaire pastor. you got to humble yourself before God's plan for him to prosper you. It is the basis of my $8 million a year ministry while teaching the gospel of prosperity. I define prosperity as every arena of life. Prospering in your spirit, prospering in your soul, prospering in your physical body, prospering in your relationships, prospering in your job, and prospering in your finances. I learned prosperity ministry from Kenneth Copeland and Oral Roberts. I mean, come on. That's where it comes from. And Seth Low Dollar, my hero. I'm trying to get myself together here because God been good to me. The Lamborghini was a gift my local church gave to me. You don't turn down a gift somebody gives you. The Learjet was another gift that I got, and I thank the Lord for it. So if I want to preach in Africa, I can get in my plane and go to Africa. In order for me to do what I've been called to do, the airlines don't fly my schedule. So therefore, I need a jet. And someone was giving away a $12 million jet. So I said, hey, Brother Mike needs a vehicle. So they said they got a jet plane for me. That jet has fueled much of the controversy of my ministry. Just because it has a bedroom in it. I mean, come on. I joined the Mile High Club 37,000 feet. Yes, Brother Mike did. Amen. And praise God in the name of Jesus. Holy. Hosanna. Try and justify Jesus to justify your new jet plane. A new Rolls Royce. It's an abomination, really. Gospel of the bling bling, where the preachers and the rap preachers are saying basically the same thing. God is good. Get rich or die trying. Prosperity teaching is dangerously out of line with the teachings of Jesus Christ. When preachers fail to teach that larger social reality, not only are they being irresponsible, in a real sense, they're becoming bedfellows, the powers and principalities that are oppressed before. But once you embrace Jesus' teaching, you'll experience God's prosperity. You get a house built, you get blessed with vehicles, you get blessed with new jobs and new money, and just all kinds of blessings that you just never thought, that you never dreamed of could happen. You can buy a yacht one day. God will increase you so much. That's the main reason people crop to my crop to my churches. I think the kingdom of heaven should be rich. Every night I go and I preach in Madison Square Garden. And sometimes it's 10,000 people to 80,000 people I'm preaching to that's got the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. And I need a jet to get there in Jesus' name. I'm between the two churches 
Houston, and New York. Faith in Jesus Christ Ministries has more than 29,000 members. If Jesus was around today, would he be living in million dollar homes and flying around in million dollar jets and driving million dollar cars? Jesus rode around on a donkey. All through the Bible, wealth is acquired, wealth is gained. They say, how come, Brother Mike? When is mine going to come in? Yours is on the way, brother, I guarantee you. I tell you why you ain't got what you got coming in because you ain't given the blessing nothing to work with. Just give me a dollar. Give me $20 to pray over for you. And you'll get your blessing in Jesus' name. You ain't giving the blessing nothing to multiply. You're sitting up here saying, oh, Lord, I need $100,000, but you ain't giving nothing to the Lord. You're not giving the blessing anything to multiply. If you need money, it's going to take the involvement of money so it can be multiplied. It's not falling out of heaven. God's not raining $100 bills down on me. You're going to have to get involved with your money. Yeah, but Brother Mike, I ain't got but $2.50. What is that? That's a two-piece fish dinner, sir. Take that $2.50 and give it to Jesus, and he'll bless it and give it back to you a hundredfold. Thousand times return. Next time you see it, it'll be in the over and above. Now check out what the devil's been doing. We are so afraid to give, trying to sow, because every, we're convinced that every preacher is out to take your money. When a preacher does steal and misuse money, you know about it immediately. It's all across the TV. We'll make sure he puts it all on the television. And you think that all preachers are like that old scum that did what he did. Not everybody is stealing money. Notice when most people is called to preach the message, they God blessed them financially first, and then they went out and preached. And with the one million dollar budget, what you gonna steal? Really? What you gonna steal? Afraid to sow. We gotta get rid of the fear. Afraid to sow because the word might not do what it says. God might not stay to his word. God might be lying. I mean, come on. God doesn't lie. That that's proof. Proven because the Bible might not do what it said. That's why you're scared to sow. Satan giving you the number one fear of all. Fear of what God said in his word might not come to pass. But the devil wants every Christian to have that fear of sowing. Check this out. You're never going to know this if you don't apply what I've preached to you. Now you have to justify an excuse of why you didn't get what the word said you could have. It's never God's fault. I like what Brother Jesse said. He said, we blame God for our failure to receive. Blame it on him. Now, all of a sudden, this went from a pep rally to an internship. Things are always exciting when we think we're going to get something for free. I can dream as long as I want to. I can believe God for a jet or whatever I want to. If I want to believe God for a $65 million plane, I'll believe God for it. If it be his will, I'll have it. Can't stop me from dreaming. Go we'll dream till Jesus comes. Shoot, $65 million plane ain't nothing. If they discover life on Mars and I have to go get a spaceship to Mars, $65 million is going to be a bargain. Because if they find life on Mars, then they need to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. $4 billion space shuttle will take me to Mars to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I love Benny Hinn, too. He's a good guy. Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire in Jesus' mighty name. Blessing or cursing. I'll take blessing any day. Stay tuned for the blessing. Thank you for that Christian blessed message. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So may the Lord bless you and show you his kindness and his mercy. And may he open the windows of heaven to pour blessings upon your life that only the Lord would know. And only you don't have room to receive. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your blessing. And thank the gift and thank the giver for blessing Faith in Jesus Ministries. We have a $100,000 a month budget to feed the children in Africa. We feed them three meals a day in Jesus' name. So we have a minister there uh, named Robert, and you check him out on my Facebook. He's a good Christian man. That We send $1,500 a day to him in Jesus' name to feed the children. So thank you for your gift, and thank you for the giver. In Jesus' name, we thank you.
And please subscribe to our channel to get some good Holy Spirit filled preaching in. In Jesus name. Let me just pray for you in Jesus name that you get the Holy Spirit. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. In Jesus name.